So under the car here, um, I got up under that access panel after defrosting it a bit. I pulled the two screws that hold in the electrical connectors for those two big battery cables. One's a 10 millimeter, one's a 9 millimeter. And on the outside, I had already removed that bolt right there. So now there's a uh, clip that holds the cable to the frame. Just press the button, pulls right off. And now I can pull the battery cable right out. So there we can see the corrosion on the end of the cable. We can also see um, how this type of connector works. It, uh, it pushes through, then it's got an O-ring on it, and then a bolt goes through this flange to hold it in place. And, well, supposedly keep water out. In this case, it didn't work, but uh, I don't know how the water got in there. I think it went through the top, and then it just stayed in there. So here's the other battery cable. Disconnected it from the frame. Remove the terminal bolt inside and the hold-in bolt on the outside. So there we go. We've removed the two uh, battery cables from this side of the car. There's two others on the other side of the car for the, uh, the quick charge. And there's a couple other battery cables. Once I've got those all disconnected, I should probably be able to pull the battery bolts and drop the main battery pack.